Oh God, am I on video? Yes. No. 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 no, no. no you gotta make. You gotta find the owner of the practice. Okay. Shut it down. What it what it arises to is that you are now creeping out residents. So if I walk up to this window and I'm looking at the display they have on the window, you're gonna tell me that to You're well within your right to film the I products. The products. Know. The products. It's the people inside the store. That's you or will be cited for harassment. You're yeah. filming people who do not want to be filmed. I am not going to allow you or that other officer or anybody else to interfere with that right. If you want to do that, it's going to be putting me in handcuffs, charging me unlawfully with a crime, and then like I said, I'm going to clean out the coffers in Oakmont. How's it going guys? Watching The Watchman here, out with Amagansett Press. And today we're in Oakmont, Pennsylvania, uh, which is a suburb of Pittsburgh. Today we're at Fine Wine and Good Spirits, uh, which is a liquor store. And in Pennsylvania, uh, all liquor stores are actually owned and operated by the state government. So everybody who works in here is a state employee, uh, it's public property. So we're going to take some video out on the public sidewalk and see if the folks here respect our First Amendment right to do so. This is our first time making a video in Pennsylvania. Um, as you, most of you guys know who've been following us for a long time, I'm from Long Island, me and AP. Uh, I grew up out on Long Island, so I've been to Pennsylvania before, but I uh, never made a video out here. So, uh, should be interesting to see how it goes. Here's a look around at the neighborhood. Some mountains over there. And I'll put a map on screen of all the states we've made videos in now. This is our first uh, time in Pennsylvania, like I was saying. Uh, video before that was Ohio, and the video before that was Indiana. So three new states, uh, back to back. And uh, I also have an interactive map you guys can check out of all the videos we've done. Hey, man, get out there watching. What's up? Dad, guy wants to know how much my gimbal costs. I saw. I, I said to him, how much you got? Um, all right, well. This ought to be interesting. And we are on our 15,000 mile plus road trip all around the country for you, those of you guys who don't know. So uh, now's a good time to subscribe. Make sure you have notifications turned on so you don't miss any new videos. So let's see what kind of signage you have here. And here's their hours here. On July 18th, they're going to have Robert Irvine here. At this I think so. No, it's at a different one. Gentlemen, what are you doing? What are you doing? What am I doing? Yeah. Who's asking? Hey. The people inside here. Hey, what are you doing? I'm um, taking some video. I'm narrating my video. Uh, it looks like your case in the joint. Does it? Yeah, really okay, a hammer, everything looks like a nail. I don't know if you can see her there. She's closing all the blinds. I'm going to cover up their open sign. Watch this. Wow. Amazing. Meanwhile, they have multiple signs that say this place is under 24-hour video surveillance. And remember, guys, uh, keep in mind that these are public employees. These people are working for a state-owned liquor store. I forgot to mention that today is Wednesday, July 13th, 2022. It's 4.37 p.m. and uh, 86 degrees and partly sunny, partly cloudy here in Oakmont. But uh, right now the sun's out. Did she run the back to get on the phone and cry to somebody? What, she's not out there anymore? She's not at her post at the register right now. So I guess the ladies abandoned the register to uh, go on the back and do something, I don't know. Yeah, she just peeked her head out around the corner, I think on the phone. I don't know if you guys saw that. Yeah, the other person that was on that register is gone too. Is she? Yeah, they're like all hiding out. Left the That's weird. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. See, it's a considerate guy. Normal thing to do. Ask somebody if you're interrupting them by walking through. Well, it seems like they realized that they were blocking the open sign and put that one back up. Did something exciting happen here today? Looks 
so did something exciting happen in there today that you're taking pictures oh i'm just taking a video oh okay all right thanks what you got filming just taking a video i don't know why people feel the need to walk up uncomfortably close behind you That lady was just yelling from like three businesses down trying to ask us what we're doing now. Everybody wants to be in your business when you have a camera in your hand, but nobody wants to be on the video. It's amazing. What was that lady yelling from like three businesses down trying to ask us something? Is it, was she yelling something? I think she was yelling at us, yeah. I couldn't even hear her. I, I don't know. I think this is the store she came out of. Or a banner. What are the two dots over the Amy you're watching? I don't know. What's going on, guys? Sorry? What are we doing? Taking a video. Oh, cool. Yeah. For what? Anything in particular? So I don't do anything without a purpose. What's the purpose? I can't get into it right now. Oh, Taking can't. video and audio. Video and doing audio? Doing my thing, yeah, yeah. Ah, that's okay. cool. Cool. Yeah. Is it for like a commercial or something? I can't get into what it's, I can't get into specifics. Oh. Well, if you want to go first, tell me about your personal life. I'd be happy to follow up. No, this is just, yeah. I don't this know, I'm just out here minding my own business. I'm just taking some pictures of your sign. Weird. We're all weird. Everybody's weird. Right? Have a good day. Yeah, you do the same. Thank you. Maybe they don't want the boss to find out they're sitting there doing each other's nails. All of a sudden the nail party broke up. Well, now they're in their stairwell. Yeah, so yell at two guys who are taking video from three businesses down and then act like it's the weirdest thing you've ever okay, seen in your life um, when they come okay. down to your business and take some video over there. Put the camera lens. You see the cop across the street? Fine. filming for? Sorry? I said, do you mind, mind me asking what you guys are filming for? Oh, I don't mind you asking, but I, same thing I told them, I'm not going to get into specifics. No, that's okay. I just don't take it to video. Okay. But I appreciate you. All right. What's your name Dude, and badge number? So I can... uh, my, I'm Officer okay. Bowman from Oakland Police Department. Bowman. My, my badge number is seven, um, 7764. Thank you, sir. I appreciate yep. that. All right. So we just had a couple of people, you know, in the area that are just kind of wondering why you guys are filming. All right? Okay. All right. Fair enough. They're just kind of creeped out by the situation. I'm just creeped out by people with cameras. Yes, I they're walking you'll, by, I, I hope you'll filming tell them how it. Silly that is. I understand you guys are well within your rights to do so. I don't know if that's what you guys are doing, or if that's what you guys are trying to. Well, what do you mean well within my rights? With 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 with, with filming. I'm just first time I've ever been in Oakland. I'm just okay. Takes a video of the area. Okay. I mean, you guys instantly. Turned your cameras to me. That's that's the only reason why I've. Uh... Right. I uh, actually because you came up and started so speaking. I feel many people that talks to me. They they are well within their rights to do so. It's just. It's well, why don't you tell us what the concern is? Instead of just calling 911, what's the concern? No, no, we didn't call 911. Oh, 911. you said several so, people so, called. So, so, someone know. someone down the street did. That's why. Oh, okay. All right. Do you guys have any idea or anything like that? Do I have any ID? Yes. I've, I always have ID. Can I get it off you? Absolutely not. Okay. Why would I give you ID? I was just, you know, just, just asking. I'm allowed okay. to ask, right? You're allowed Absolutely. to film. I'm allowed to ask, right? I, I, okay. I said you can ask, sure. Absolutely. All right. So, Absolutely. you just out filming, doing your own thing? Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
right. Yeah, that's it. All right. And I hope you let these folks know there's nothing to get creeped out about. If, you know, no, I just, certainly, certainly not trying to secret myself. I'm out in broad daylight. Okay. Carrying around a four foot stick with a massive cat. No, no, I did. You don't look threatening to me. I was just, you know. You came out and you were yelling something that the guy I'm with, I guess, asked him what we were doing. Yeah, I just asked a joke yeah. of curiosity. So I walked over to respond to what you were saying, and then you just got all weird. No, I just didn't have a curiosity. It's just because, okay. sir, you know, in the town of Oakmont, we don't normally have this going on. You know what I mean? Right I'm here. Yeah. It's supposed to be That's fine. It's just... The doorway of the liquor store. Well, I can't get into why I do what I do. Is it like for a commercial? It's my personal something? business. What's up, Sylvia? I'm just, so I'm just curious. I'm freaked out by all the questions, to be honest with you. You're the guy filming, guys. Wait a minute. In today's world, why are you, why are you questioning and people questioning you? Today's either? world? Yeah. That's a whole other conversation. I don't know what your today's world is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's a very subjective thing. Unless your opinion is the rock solid. Is this like a political thing that you're doing? Absolutely not. It's, it's, it's a video thing. Like the internet? Like I said, I'm not going to get into specifics. It's just like, why? Why not? I don't understand what the big deal is. Seems fine. Oh, that's no, it. Good. Is it uh, Officer Pat Tani? Yeah. Yes, sir. Badge on the 703? Yep. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Pleasure to meet you. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Okay. Doing excellent. Yeah. I, I don't want anybody to be in fear or freaked out or concerned, so I certainly hope you're going to let them That's why I work here, that's all. Well, I'm just telling that's not my intention. I'm not trying to I mean, I'm telling that. you that's what you're doing, though. You're talking, that's very subjective. No, I'm just going off of by what the public I has told me. I think if I had a little secret there, and I was walking around the block, I'd be able to open it up. And you're out in the public, and you're like... I mean, you're, we're, you're well within your rights. You're just the film. Like I said, no, public. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's my right to take a video just, on the We just got a call, that's all. We, no, we're right, right. So what I'm saying is, is it's unfortunate that people would get freaked out and alarmed by that. So I'm hoping that you gentlemen will explain to them that there's nothing wrong with it. There's oh, I have. There's nothing to be concerned about. Did you talk to them? Yes. No, somebody down there. I'm not going to say who. Okay. All right. Very good. So well, we're just good. here making sure. I think it's sure. creepy that people start getting all freaked out about a couple guys. Everything. Well, the thing is, is you're, you're, if you want to, if you want to ask them why they're creeped out and film that. Oh, I did. So why, okay. why are we, I asked you, why, what are you freaked out about? I was sitting in here by ourselves. I wasn't and you freaked had a camera out. No, you're two women that weird. came out on the sidewalk and started yelling at us, asking us what we're doing. So we walked down your way. I did. And then you were like, yell, though. never I said, happened. I just asked that, you, that never you just happened. filmed That's the city. They just did I too. never walked up and slammed my camera. He didn't do that. That was an exaggeration. Yeah, he yeah. Hey, I, just was, I was just more or less trying to be respectful. I was like, hey guys, what's going on? I was trying to be like, ask a question. Just because like, business. Just because it's, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just was like, hey guys, what's going on? I wasn't trying to do it in an aggressive way. I was not being aggressive. Oh, I never said you were being aggressive. You did say you were no, just said she yelled. Well, you had to yell. I did not yell. Yeah. Okay, so you were 50 feet down the sidewalk. Okay, so you were 50 feet down the sidewalk. They didn't come and yell at you. They stuck their heads out the doors. You know what? It doesn't even matter. You're talking about semantics. No, Whatever the situation no, you, 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 is. I can have a conversation with now. anybody I like to have a conversation with on the sidewalk. Which is fine. I'm not wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And if it's my right, there's no way I can do that. You've never been a woman you'd understand. No, I certainly understand. I think you guys would better serve the public. De-escalating the situation and explaining to them that there's is that what you're trying is that is that what you're trying to do is film 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 us de-escalating the situation at this point absolutely so, so yes what you're, what you're at saying this point is you're I am causing a, you're causing a public nuisance at this point no not at all yeah. 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 Not at all. I, I can't because you're public nuisance having a conversation if there's no public nuisance what's there for me to de-escalate the conversation you know what I'm just gonna I'm gonna take the fifth at this point not even talk to you well thank you I'm gonna exercise my other right which is to remain silent have a good day have a good day gentlemen you police want to come in at any point you're more than welcome to it's a safe space. Yeah. It's a safe space. There you go. So go in the safe space. You have nothing to worry about. Why come out here in the danger, danger land? Stay in the safe space. I think we're good. I'm not trying to scare you. I am. That's because you're a redhead. That's you. I'm a redhead too, so I can say that. Right? There you go. Um, uh, you know what? I say that I told you, I'm really not looking to concern anybody out here. But I'm not also looking at, I'm not going to pack up my camera and go home because a couple of people got upset. I get that. That's foolish. So if people don't want to have conversations with me, they're, I'm not in, initiating any conversations. I'm not engaging anyone. And if they come up to me and I want to respond, 
I will. If I don't, I think from now on I probably just won't. Okay. And then they'll call you more and tell you I'm being creepy because I won't answer. So I pre you're very professional and courteous. I appreciate you. Have, have a wonderful day. day. Thank you, sir. Just gonna take them off on that nail salon. taking them all the way into the back of the store, into the safe space. Absolutely ridiculous. All right, well, I'm going back to what I was doing. <clears throat> See you later. Amazing. I think the lady at the liquor store needs to see us out here recording anyway. She don't know the bronze back, but they probably told her to do that. Absolutely foolish. Yeah, amazing. See two guys out filming on the sidewalk, yell at them from three businesses down, and then when they go over there to see what you're yelling about, act like we're nuts. And go cry to the police. That's right. That was Urbana Boutique, by the way. So this is vehicle number 7-0. Blue line, of course. Feelings in Porsche guy here, flirting with the chicks when he should be going back to work. filming them, nothing to do with them. We're 50 blocks, 50 feet down the block, and they decide to call us over and draw attention to themselves, and then we're uh, creeping them out. I think most people creep themselves out. So now they're going to the liquor store. So now officer, whatever his name was, and his harem of Karens have decided to uh, come investigate at the liquor store. And this is the place where they all, uh, all the Karens came from. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Nice. 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 Your boss is going to see that. So remember, these people work for the state of Pennsylvania. And this lady right here is giving me the finger through the window on, on duty at work with the uniform on. Very nice. You want to uh, check out what other businesses we going on here? Yeah, I guess might as well. Seems like the people around here have a big problem with cameras, so. This point, we might as, well, might as well visit the whole strip. We were just coming to the uh, state run liquor store. Maybe they need to see some cameras here in town and get used to them. Yeah. I don't know what their you big uh, the issue is. So They're closed. It's uh, 5 o'clock, so we'll check so out whatever's closed. open. What's this? They're open. What is this open? Place uh, Leone's Pizza. Leone's Pizza. Oh. Yeah, Beer, barbecue, and freedom can't go wrong. Yeah, yeah. Love it. Thank you. That's what his t-shirt says. Can I get a shot of that shirt? Yeah, sure. That's very cool. Appreciate you. What's your first name? Rudy. Rudy, pleasure to meet you, Rudy. Okay, hey, sorry to call you guys, but I'm just curious what you're doing. 
Not like in a bad way. Oh, they were just taking a video. Yeah, I was just like, really. Oh God, am I on video? Yes. No. <laughs> no, no, no. No, you gotta make, you gotta make Leonis look good. Is that how you say it, Leonis? Leonis, yeah. Leonis, like Mama Leonis. Yeah. 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 Yeah
drop your phone in there. Don't even step on it, man. That's so rusted out, you're gonna die. Well, eyeglass, please. Oh, eyeglass, but that's fine. Anybody to take any pictures of your glasses or anything? Um, we prefer uh, getting permission first. Can I have permission to take pictures of your glasses? I'm not the one to give that in the office managers out today. So no pictures today? Uh, really? Really, please. So I have to stop? Please. And Thank I just, you. why is that again? I, it's very confusing. Privacy. Privacy? Yes. For the people that are sitting behind a glass window? Isn't that silly? You got to admit. But I know you're just doing your job, and you're just saying, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we just have to protect our customers, our clients. I don't but think they're in any danger. <laughs> the boogeyman, you can tell them I'm not the boogeyman. The boogeyman's not coming today. Just a couple of guys with cameras. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thanks. And Thank you so much. Have a good day. So just for what, though? I'm sorry? What, what are just filming? Just filming, like, yeah. So are you going in everybody's windows? Am I going in everybody's yeah, windows? Yeah, I, like there's not enough hours in the day and I don't have the legs for that, no. Okay. Definitely not everybody's windows. Okay. Yeah. I was just curious. I didn't know if there was something like going on for Oakmont or... I gotta tell you, I don't know what it is because I walk, maybe it's the size of the camera. I walk around with this camera and people are always very interested in what I'm doing for some reason. Well, yeah, it's like a news camera kind of thing. And you know how people are about their 15 minutes of fame. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't mind people asking me. Mm -hmm. But then people, you have it here today, but then people demand to know when they say I don't want to get into it. Because I'm recording audio too, I'm taking video. Uh -huh. I'm just doing my thing. And then, you know, people have come out and say, why are you doing what, Tell me what you're doing. I'd rather not have the discussion, and then they get indignant about it, get upset. Mm -hmm. I, somebody just called the police on us down the street. Understandable. understandable. Really? You think that's understandable? <laughs> kind of. In come this, on. Well, in this day, age I, I kind of do understand why a lot of people don't want to be filmed really yes I, I understand why people wouldn't want to be filmed looking like a fool or making a fool of themselves right. but if you're not doing anything wrong what's the well so some people excuse me in no excuse me I'm in the middle oh, of a conversation yeah I was um, asking them what they were doing and um, asking them not to film our Yes, so why is my, why am I, I'm not approving this. I'm the owner of the practice. Okay. Shut it down. Shut what then? Shut it down. Why are you filming us? Shut yourself then. What are you talking about? You just came out and interrupted a very cordial conversation. Okay. Well, this is, Shut it down. this is Who my practice. Well, this is my camera. You can't film my practice. I'm filming your practice right now. All I'm, right, I'm going to call the cops. Do what you want to do. You're ridiculous. What? Wow. Shut it down. These people are out of their mind. Should have called the cops. The cops are going to tell you to go back to work. Dummy. That lady proclaimed herself to be the owner uh, while we were out having a uh, polite conversation with the receptionist and uh, comes out with an attitude acting like that. And they don't want people looking at all this stuff that they put on the win uh, out in the windows. All these displays, signs, check us out on Facebook, uh, advertisements for glasses brands, uh, glasses display rack right there. And this is all in glass windows on the main central business district of the town here. Yeah, harassment. So. Now he's going to come back and try the bullshit story. Oh, well, now we've had several calls, so now I need to demand your ID. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah, why do they put all this stuff here if people can't look at it? I have no idea. They got all this stuff in the windows. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm 
I was videoing the stuff in your windows. Kids, what, where does your mind go? You're sick. You're sick. So close the blinds. Create privacy for them. Why do you have them on display? You're ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Turn it alone, Ed. Get me filming, kids. Look at all this stuff in the window. If anybody comes by with a camera, it's a problem. Absurd. These people are absolutely ridiculous. So. Boulevard eyes. He just turned 18 in November. Oops, I forgot. <laughs> so look at that. She doesn't want us taking their pictures, right? So she comes out and takes our pictures. Yeah. Rules for thee, but not for me. People always talk about putting the cameras up against the windows. If you have static displays inside of your window and you have ornamental type of things for people to look at, that means they're also for people to photograph if they want to. So you entice people to come up to your windows and look in the windows and then get upset about it if they're recording. Ridiculous. Sorry? It is exciting. Life is exciting. Yeah, you having fun? Awesome. You can take my picture. Well, what do you think I'm doing out here? No, stop. Why? You look great. I look horrible. No, you don't. But have a good day. You too. Uh, she went to the uh, clean on. And uh, two police officers driving this way. Oh, they're going. Oh, they're going there. Let's go see what's going on. Yeah. There you go. They're going to the. They're going to the eyeglass place. I guess we'll go back down there. Let's see what's up with that. Oh, we saw you pull up, so we came back. Yeah. She was uh, I upset am because... Charges. She was upset because you guys were just filming inside the business. That's the only So I complaint. can't walk down the street with a camera without being harassed? Is that what goes on in this town? No, nah, that's not the problem. <laughs> that's not the way this town operates. I'll tell you what happened. The uh, receptionist, she identified herself as a receptionist, came out. We're having a very cordial conversation with her, laughing and smiling. And the business owner came out and started screaming, shut it down. Shut it down. Yeah. So I said, absolutely not. But so that, at that point, my yeah. Mr. Nice Guy went away. Right. And I said, no, I'm not shutting it down. Yeah, the problem that we're having is that, you know, you're allowed, obviously, to be out here on the street. There's no expectation of privacy when you're out here on the street. Right. The problem that we run into is that whenever you start... It's okay. Whenever you start putting the, the camera inside, then it starts to become an issue. Well, nobody put the camera inside. When you start filming inside, yeah, when you you're now filming from juveniles, okay? From the, out, that's from the, the, out, from the outside. That, that is the case. Old, I'm telling you that's the case, sir. All right, no reason to get home. What I was telling Officer yeah. Katani was is the receptionist came out. Mm -hmm. We were having a very cordial, lovely conversation. With okay. Her, laughing back and forth. All of a sudden, the owner in the green shirt comes out and just starts screaming, shut it down. Yeah. I understand See, that. They understand. And you, and they don't understand that, that you are well within your First Amendment rights to film in the public place. You're on a public sidewalk, all right? What it, what it arises to is that you are now creeping out residents and oh, owners. What? Expectation they, they, have, they have a display inside of this window and they have glasses right here. So if I walk up to this window and I'm looking at the display they have on the window, you're going to tell me that continue, to you? If you continue, I understand, if you continue to film inside there, yeah, you, you will be just, cited for harassment. Yeah, you can't just, for filming okay. inside the window. For filming inside, yeah, you're yeah. filming people who do not want to be filmed. So you, listen to me. Listen to me. I don't want to be charged with harassment. I'm trying to have a civil. You keep trying to escalate. I'm trying I'm to. Not, have a I'm not escalating anything. Hold on, hold on, Is there a supervisor right. available? Yeah, it's that's him. me. That's you. Okay, so I'm going to so, deal with him. Okay, if that's, that's okay with you. So okay? what we're trying to do is we're trying to eliminate the people. They, they have an expectation of privacy once they're in. The, you know, once they're not when they're behind the, clear glass windows and they have well, static displays and I'm not allowed to come by and look at the mirror uh, the 
Well, that, that and what absolutely. if I want to record them so when I go home yeah, but, I can sit down and look at them? But you got to understand where they're coming from. Well, I understand, their, the business. I understand their apprehension and maybe calling you and having you come out and educate them that I'm doing nothing wrong. But for this officer to threaten me with harassment because I'm taking video inside of a window is completely false. Well, absolutely false. Sure I can. You, you can't point the video camera I can. if there's children in there. Or, I don't you know, know who's anybody. in there. First of all, you see the glare on these windows? You can't even see past one, two feet inside that. the window. You're well within your right to film the I products. The products. The products. Ask. It's the people inside the store. That's not true. I assure you. And I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I'm trying oh, yeah, to have I understand. a healthy conversation. Okay, that's fine. If I am outside. Okay, here's the way the law works. Okay? okay. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to educate you. I'm okay. going to tell you how the law works. You cannot trespass my eyes. So What's that? Please, you cannot trespass my eyes. Okay. So please, this is the law. This is I understand the that. Supreme Court has ruled on this. There's case law. Okay. okay. So as long as I am standing somewhere where I have lawful right to be, I can look at, video, or photograph anything my eyes can and see. And we've told you that. If this was somebody's home, that would be a different story. Absolutely. Right? This is a public Ooh. business on a main street with glass windows, with static displays in the windows. Absolutely no reason I can't film in the window. And you know that's the case. That's absolutely the case. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you guys don't want to, I'm trying to be civil with you. I even told you, right. I thanked you for your professionalism. Absolutely. Don't We're trying with... to be civil with you guys as well. No, you're not. You're threatening me with harassment and unlawful nonsense. That's not true. You don't know what my education is. You don't know what my background is. And I'm not trying to give you a hard no, time. No, I understand that. I, I'm not going to be shunned away from exercising my rights. I can tell you that right now. Nobody's shunning so you away from exercising your rights. Harassment, arrest, can, whatever you're going to do, that's up to you. Can I ask that's you completely just, a, up to you. just a question? That's all right. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. You can. Um, what generated this today? Phone was, calls for people freaking out over a camera. I mean, I have engaged with everybody, and I, I spoke to everybody today the same way I'm speaking to you. Until this woman came out and started screaming, the first thing she said was shut it down. Screaming, shut it down. Well, she yelling. doesn't obviously know that. So that to me is well, creating she, a disturbance. She doesn't know you guys have the right to film. It no, sounds I, like you don't know I, I have the right to film. I do. I do. That's the first so thing I said. To intimidate me out of no, rights. no one's don't intimidating. Go there. No one's down. intimidating you out Don't of your rights. The first thing I said to you when we first made contact is you guys are well within your rights to film within the public. That's correct. That is the without the, limitation. The absolute. That's it. And that's why we left the first that's time. It. And even if I film in the windows here, there's nothing you can do. About I understand that. I'm glad you understand that. And I. So I, I would appreciate if you don't threaten anybody with harassment. It's, that's intimidation. It's, it's, it's not. That's intimidation, and it's you're harassing me making unlawful threats. I'm, yes, it is. I'm not making an unlawful threat. you don't want to threat. open up Oakmont to a lawsuit because I'll clean the bank. So don't go there. Why, why are you doing this today? Your officer here is threatening you with charging no, you I'm with harassment. I'm not that's talking why about I'm that. Upset. I'm not talking now about I'm that. Now I'm upset. Yeah. Now I'm out here standing up for my rights instead of exercising. You've put me in a position where I need to defend myself. So well, I would go, suggest to you, you've been, go you've been very calm and cordial. That's why you're the supervisor. You need to learn from it. Okay, you don't intimidate people. That gun and that badge doesn't give you an explicit set of rights, okay? All right. Well, I'm going to go talk to everybody inside here. Go talk to whoever you want to talk to. And I'm going to carry on doing what I'm doing. And if I want to film in the windows, I'll film in the windows. That's the end of the story. And I appreciate you being reasonable, sir. That yeah. officer is being... You, you to, witnessed the whole just thing. Just trying to figure this whole thing out. Just, uh, you want me to tell you what it is? Yeah. This is a First Amendment audit. Right. And you know exactly what that is, okay? So I'm out here with the sole purpose to exercise my right to take video and photographs in public. Right. And I am not going to allow you or that other officer or anybody else to interfere with that right. If you want to do that, it's going to be putting me in handcuffs, charging me unlawfully with a crime, and then, like I said, I'm going to clean out the coffers in Oakmont. Okay. So let's not go there. You've been very civil. You've yeah, been very just courteous. Trying to figure out well, now I've told you what it is. You don't have to figure it out anymore. Out. I'll even, when we're all done here, I'll give you my channel name. All right, cool. Are we being detained? Are we being detained right now? No, no, no. Okay. You guys are good. Very good. All right. Thank you. Well, no, you know what? I, I, want, I want to see how this ends with your officer. He's got a hair up his butt to try to take some legal action here. And I'm hoping you're going to rein him in and save the citizens a lot of heat. I'm just trying to... Well, I've been very forthright with you, and I told you what I'm doing. So now you can go in there and make, explain just, it to him. I just want to make peace. Yeah, but keep your officer in check. Don't let him screw up. Fair warning. Can't take video on something like this. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Amazing. 
guys are clowns. Can't film inside the window because there's children in there. So that's what the people in there told them. And then they just fall for that crap. Hey, don't. Hi, uh, everything's okay? Yeah, these people called the police on us because we're out here taking pictures. I'm out here with my son taking pictures on the sidewalk and they called the cops and said they were freaked out. Really? What are you guys here for? Check it. I've never been in Oklahoma before. Oh, you're oh. just like video? I'm traveling that's... across the country with my son and my wife. Oh, where are you guys from? from? South Dakota. Wow, okay. Yeah. Wow. What brought you here? <laughs> We've been in 28 states in the past two years. Okay. We're trying to do 48. The original plan was 50, but then things have happened in the world, so yeah, yeah. we kind of narrowed it down to 48, yeah. Hard to get to. Oh, yeah, cool. I don't know if I want to go through all that, but yes, yeah, I mean, strange stuff. To call the cops on somebody with a camera. Yeah, wow. They said I was filming, because they have all this stuff in the windows here. I thought you guys were doing a movie. That's yeah. It looked, yeah, it looked like a movie. They said they have stuff in the windows, and evidently, I guess there's some kids in there getting eyeglasses, so they said we were filming the children. I'm with my child. I don't even know what that's <laughs> all about. I have no idea what they're talking about. Cops are pretty nice here. Yeah, they're so nice. No, no issues. Yeah. yeah. So, well, hopefully. We'll see. Yeah, well, welcome to Oklahoma. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. you guys. Thank, Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, welcome to Oakmont, pretty much. Yeah, welcome to Oakmont. That's the statement of the day. So this is what goes on in Oakmont, Pennsylvania. Karen's everywhere, people yelling at us for filming. Well, yeah, I hope uh, I said Pennsylvania. I think I might have said Oakmont, Ohio in the beginning or something. <laughs> i got to double check that. But yeah, Karen's everywhere, people giving us a hard time for filming, yelling at us calling the cops on us, uh, police officers threatening us with arrest for harassment, state employees who give people the finger at the liquor store. Ridiculous. You're all set, Sarge? Very good. Thank you. Can I speak to you for one second before you leave? Just yeah. now, now that I always wait to see how you're going to handle things yeah. before I get a little, uh, well, yeah. let my defenses down I a little bit. I understand that. No, I explained to them clearly that you know they, you, you gentlemen have a right to be out here. You're filming in the open air. You're on the public streets. There's no expectation of privacy. Okay. It's no different than if somebody has a traffic cam or um, cameras on a building. You know. Right. The problem that they had was that, I don't know if you guys are aware of the HIPAA laws. There, there's, it's no, Health Information pri okay, yeah. Privacy Act. They were just worried about that as far as maybe getting information that maybe they're working on. The well, you know what's funny about HIPAA to address that? You probably already know, mm -hmm. but HIPAA laws maybe only not. apply to people that are trained and certified in HIPAA. Oh, okay. I'm not bound by any HIPAA. The onus is on them to protect the private information because they've been trained Correct. and certified. Yes. So if they leave private yeah, information out, it, it, right. I can video it and do whatever I want with it. Yeah. yeah. Not that I would. Right. I'm not that I don't kind think of, you're, that's not yeah, you know, I don't see that you being that kind of person. You're no. not a vindictive person. No, not at all. And just so I you know, this, you is, this is my son. Oh, okay. So nice I'm certainly to meet not you. out filming kids with my son. I'm Joe, by the way. And that my wife is standing down the street here somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so nice to meet you, Joe. My name's Jason. Jason, nice to meet you. Pleasure. Ben. And I'll tell you what, you ben. know, I'm a little, I am a little concerned though. I just want to express my concern as a citizen. Apart from this, your officer threatened basically to charge me with harassment well, if I pointed my camera in the window. Yeah. So I don't know if that I'll was. I'll speak with him, and, and we've already talked about that, addressed that. Okay, I appreciate that. We talked about it in there. I talked to my supervisor on the phone as well, just okay. to double check. Of course. Sure. Uh, to make sure that, that everybody's on right. the same page here. I just, with him, I don't know if that was lack of knowledge or if that was an intimidation tactic yeah, that he's using. I think but it it's... was maybe lack of knowledge. Okay. You know, I've, We'll give I've, him the benefit of the doubt, I've, and I'll I've, agree with you. I've done these uh, situations before, and... You know, the big, the big thing is that you want to make sure that everybody is protected, including you and, the, you know. Everybody is protected in regards to the statutes and in regards to the Constitution, not in regards to their feelings. Correct. Because then what it'll turn into is one day somebody walks by with a pink tutu on. Right. And I get, get cringed out by the pink tutu. I call you and I want them arrested. Right. And because they, they scared me. Yeah. That's, that's, what, that's what makes this country so great. Absolutely. You know, yes, sir. We, we all have our opinions, but as long as we're not breaking the laws, it doesn't matter. Like you said, somebody, you know, walks past and has something that, that you don't agree with, or, you know, they say something to you that you don't agree with, but, you know, we'll just talk about, like, politics or something. Right. That's what makes this country great. We all have our own opinions, and, you know, we can form them based on 
judgment, uh, you know, knowledge, right. education. And luckily like we have a constitution in this country that guarantees those privileges. Absolutely. Yeah. I love it. Now imagine being in a country where you don't. Oh, man, you know? it's just terrible. But I really appreciate you handling it that yeah, way. I appreciate um, is it guys. sergeant? No, is just just patrolman. So you're just the shift supervisor? Yeah, 24 gotcha. years. Well, uh, 24 years, and you haven't gotten any stripes, I hope you get them. No. I you must just, not want them. No. <laughs> At this point, no. You no. seem like too calm of a guy to want to get wrapped yeah. up in a mess. Uh, you know, why, why fight with people? It's just that the world's hard enough as it is. Yes, sir. You know, it's it's tough. Everybody's fighting now. It, it just, it stinks. So well, why, we need more officers like you out there. Yeah, just talk to people. That's the big thing. Communication. Yep. You know? That's this, the big you're thing. my kind of guy. That's what I always yeah. preach. Trying to, trying to just figure it out. You know, that's the whole thing. I try you to know, figure out what people, how, how they're thinking and, and stuff like that. Right. And you know how I look at it, too. Right now, as you're well aware, there's a little bit of a divide between the citizens and law enforcement oh, in this country. Oh, there's no doubt. And we try to do everything we can do to try to close that gap. Okay. So the way I'm looking at it, from my subjective opinion, is I gave your department an opportunity to shine today. Mm -hmm. And you've taken that opportunity to run with that. it. No, you really did. And I wouldn't say that if it wasn't true. Yeah. Your other officer could wind up getting himself another officer or an innocent citizen in a lot of trouble or hurt or killed one day. I understand. And that's scary stuff. I understand. And, and I'm going to ask you a quick question. What do you think of, because uh, uh, you're coming across as a good police officer here today. I try to be And there best. are there are many good police officers I don't make judgments against there. anybody. What do you think your worst enemy is as a good cop? Right now? Yep. Um, geez, that's a great question. My enemy right now is, is somebody pulling a gun on me and just doing a drive-by. No. No. No, I, well, not my opinion. Yeah. Okay. Not my opinion. Not to negate your opinion, but not my opinion. My opinion, your worst enemy right now in this environment, in this day and age, as you like to say, is a bad cop. Oh, absolutely. Because a bad cop is out there getting the good guys hurt, killed, sued, arrested yeah. every day. So the problem lies in the fact that policing is unique in the fact that you guys police yourselves. Mm -hmm. Most places don't have that luxury, Correct. right? So being that that's the case, we as citizens rely on you to effectively police your sons and rein in the bad guys. And I'm not asking you to destroy anybody's career. Right. You know, people make mistakes. This guy might, his wife might have given him hell last night. Maybe yeah. he's in a bad mood. Yeah. I don't know. So all I ask you to do is have the talk with him and explain to him that those, that type of behavior that was just exhibited by that officer here today can escalate a situation into a mess. And you know how it is. Once it goes up, it's hard to bring it back down. And that's the so thing. that's why de-escalation is written into your policy. Knowledge is power. Yes. If you know what you're allowed and not allowed to do, then I think that you can de-escalate anything. Right. That's the thing. And that's what we're trying to do is we're out here trying to sp spread awareness, open up constructive conversation, mm -hmm. and produce something and be productive Makes in society. Sense. Yeah, absolutely. You know, too many people sit around and complain what's going on in the world, and they do nothing about it. Yeah, they just complain. That's and, the evil in this world. Yep. They yep. just want change, but they don't want to make the change. And they don't anything. think they're capable of making the change. You know, one little increment. My son and I and my wife have been in 29 states in the past three years. Oh, wow. Driving. I'm, I just, I'm about to hit 80,000 miles. Oh, wow. And our whole purpose in doing that on our own dime is we go out and we're planting seeds of freedom and seeds of liberty, trying to defend our Constitution because it's in a bad way right now. And we're not very happy about it. So we try to passively go out and exercise our rights. And this is just a form of doing that. Because gotcha. rights are like muscles. If you don't exercise them, they tend yeah, to go they, away. Yeah, they get fat. That's it. <laughs> but fat. I really appreciate you. I like you. And I, yeah. I mean, you and I could probably uh, yeah. have I a like, lot of conversation. I like what you have to say. Yeah. I like what you have to say, and I appreciate you. And I hope uh, hope this conversation doesn't get lost, because I know you have a lot to do and a lot going on. Yeah. But it's... this happened for a reason here today, so let's all make the most out of it. Very good, sir. All right, sir. Appreciate it. I appreciate you. Jason. And it's Katani. Yep. Katani? Katani. 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 C -A -T -T. I forgot I'm back on the East Coast. Katani. C A T T. Out west, they say Katani. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, brother, but I appreciate you, man. Thanks, Jason. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, Ben. Have a good Does it hurt if I cross, or am I going to get a J wall? Oh, hold on, no. no. I just don't want you to get hit. You want me to go down to the crosswalk? No. Yeah. You can go ahead. Once there's traffic clear. Well, I appreciate you, brother. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. And hey, just so you know, I'm going to stick around for like two minutes and take video after you leave just so they don't have the appearance of us getting chased away. Oh, okay. And then I'm out of here. Oh. I'm not going to linger. Oh, thank you. All right? <laughs> no, we're done. We're, first time I ever came to your town, we had the experience, yeah. and now I'm going to get something to eat. Yeah. <laughs> good. So that sounds like a good plan. All right, brother. I appreciate thank it. Thank you, guys. Thank for, you. Have a good night. Shut her down. So shut down the lights. So as you can see, the cop so, uh, is still here. 
the owner of the place wanted us to shut her down. Looks like these people are the ones who I'm shut her down. still filming in the windows. All right, guys, so you saw how that went here in Oakmont, Pennsylvania, in the Pittsburgh suburbs. Uh, I don't know what's up in this town, man. Um, the girl at the pizza place and uh, patrolman uh, Catani uh, were the only half-normal people around here. Everybody else is uh, either a Karen or a tyrant cop. I don't know what the deal is. So, um, unfortunately, we had to deal with that. Uh, state employees at the liquor store giving us the finger and acting ridiculous, calling the police on us. That other boutique lying to the police about us, calling up the cops, all that. Uh, this place having their fit. I mean, really not very uh, camera-friendly environment here. In, uh, all right. Really not very camera-friendly environment here in uh, Oakmont. And, uh, you know, hopefully we did something to change that a little bit. Hopefully the other officer, I don't remember his name. I'll flash it on the screen right now so everybody can see it. Uh, hopefully he educates himself and gets educated and uh, even possibly reprimanded because, I mean, he was really uh, overstepping it to me, um, t threatening people with arrest for taking pictures on the public sidewalk uh, when he knew we have the right to do that. Um, I don't know what his deal is, but Officer Catani uh, set him straight, his supervisor, and I'm glad to see that. So, as usual, guys, contact info is always in the description if you want to contact any of the places we dealt with here today, the police department, uh, the optometrist here who came out yelling at us, the state liquor store where the lady gave us the finger, um, or the boutique where the ladies came out having a Karen fit and uh, lied to the police saying that AP smashed his camera into the window. So, uh, like I was saying, all that info is down in the description. A lot of other good info down there too. Maps, uh, the link to buy the stickers if you guys are interested. And uh, my other social medias, everything's down there. So if you guys appreciate these videos, you like what we do, and uh, you enjoyed this video, best way to help us out and support is to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and uh, check out my Instagram and Twitter, and check out the stickers if you're interested. Uh, worldwide international shipping, I've sent them all over the place, and uh, getting a lot of orders, so really appreciate all you guys who have ordered them. And uh, remember to send me in your pictures of where you put your sticker, if you put it on your car or something. Uh, I got a couple pictures like that. And uh, maybe you'll be featured in a video. I'll put a couple pictures up uh, in a video or in a post or something and uh, give you a little shout out. So that's about it for this one. We're going to wrap it up here. And uh, you guys can let me know what you think in the comments. So watching Watchmen out with Amagansett Press here in Oakmont, Pennsylvania. See you on the next one, guys. Out. Sorry? They give you guys a hard time? Yeah. yeah. They did. I well, you know who we are? Yeah. Oh, cool. I thought I'm you said Madison. I'm sorry. Good, you know, I'm sorry. I'm Scott. Pleasure to meet you, Scott. Yeah. I, I, uh, we were driving by and I saw the cameras. I didn't see you guys. And I was like, anybody auditing in Oakmont? <laughs> yeah. That's kind of odd. And then we had came back by. I saw the two cop cars and I saw them swerving over. And I saw you guys watching them. And I was like, well, I'll tell you what, it was the typical here. good cop, bad cop. The, uh, Officer threatened to arrest us for harassment for taking pictures on the sidewalk, mm -hmm. and the supervisor shut him down and put him in his place. Oh, good. Luckily. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. So, so plus the supervisor and was. Yeah. Oh, thank oh. God. Yeah, I don't feel like going to jail today. I'm hungry. Yeah, I know. What are you guys doing here? Just, just checking out. Yeah, just passing through. Randomly. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we try to be random. We don't yeah. throw darts, but we try no, to be yeah. random. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Cool. And it was Scott. Yeah. I really appreciate you, man. Yeah, thank I'll you for coming. Out. I'll look for the video. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, it'll be up tomorrow.